Well, hello, everybody, again. I hope you enjoyed your ride. Now, it seems that we're a bit smaller in numbers than we were when we started. I suspect that uh, some people maybe got lost or uh, one of the streetcars was short-turned somewhere. Uh, or they went shopping, which is what we should all do here in Roethlisvale's Village, everyone. We live here, work here, shop here. It's just a phenomenal place to be. Folks, I'd like to, um, I'd like to turn the uh, podium over to uh, our good friend, Councillor Gord Perks, to maybe make a few remarks. Gord? Thank you. Um, I'd like to say that the street speaks for itself and just give the microphone back, but that's not really the profession I'm in. Um, I just wanted to take a, a minute. We've, Tony acknowledged a lot of the volunteers, but I don't think he really explained just what volunteering on, on this street has meant over the last four years. I counted it up the other day. If you just take the public meetings, we had 37 meetings on this street. If you add in the construction meetings, which were every two weeks, you get up to 89 meetings. If you add the follow-up meetings that a, a group of volunteers have had to get the city to work on a lessons learned document, you get to 93 meetings. Then, if you add uh, the wonderful time we all spent at John and Ann's house, you get to a number somewhere over well, well over 100 meetings that folks in this neighborhood took in order to design this street for you. This was not a, a street designed by traffic engineers or the TTC or even city urban design staff. This is a street that the neighborhood built. And it's, it's uh, quite frankly been both the most exhilarating and the most exhausting thing <laughs> I've done since I got elected. If you, you know, see the trees, uh -huh. we spent with about two and a half hours at John and Ann's house with a group of people. I had no idea there were so many arborists in this neighborhood. We had flip charts and, and tree diagrams and tree designs and we, we picked colors. I mean, it was worse than, than trying to pick bridal dresses, right? <laughs> but the, out, the outcome, I think, really reflects who we are in this neighborhood. It reflects the fact that we like to hang out on a human scale. This is absolutely the opposite of uh, over-engineered, over-designed project. This is something that was designed for eye level. And for all of us to sit together, talk together, as Tony says, shock together and walk together. And I, I don't know, I, we call this Roncesvalles Village and we just finished designing it as Roncesvalles Village. So to all of you who put so many hours of your life in, I just want to say thank you. Tony's busy. Why don't I call on my colleague Sherry DeNovo to come up and say a couple of words? Uh, hi everyone. Well, I, I remember about 16 years ago when I came to Roncesvalles as uh, a green to Roncesvalles young uh, younger uh, United Church minister just up the street here at Emmanuel Howard Park United, and I see some congregants of the crowd here from that era. And I have to say that 16 years later, this street has never looked better. So let's give a round of applause uh, to the street of Roncesvalles, because never in history has it looked better. Uh, and if you look at the historical photos, and you should, they're amazing just up the way, you will see that never in its history has Roncesvalles uh, looked better. I want to give a shout out too to the business improvement area, Tony, uh, as well to Tony, and to all of those who own, like John and Len, who own shops and who work hard throughout this last period, and who are still standing, thank you, uh, thank you to you, business owners. And I think the best way we can repay them, the very best way we can repay them, all of us who live here and have lived here for many years, uh, please let your neighbors know that we're back in business on Roncesvalles. We never left, but we're really back in business now. We want you to make Len and John and all of our merchants rich. So, uh, so tell, tell your neighbors to get out and to shop local. To shop local. And that's what the street is all about. So yay Roncesvalles, yay volunteers. Fabulous job. I'm delighted to be part of this community. And Tony, back to you. I know... Uh.
I know you're feeling the heat, darling. I know you're feeling the heat. <laughs> I've been feeling the heat for over three years since we started. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Sherry, and thank you, Gord. I'd like to invite uh, Peggy Nash, our Member of Parliament, up to make a few remarks. Thanks very much, Tony. I, I see Tony is dressed very appropriately today and uh, <laughs> as, uh, feeling the heat. And uh, Tony, thank you to you and Keith and John and Mary, Len, all of the folks who volunteered their time and effort to make this great village what it is today. Let's give everyone on the team a big round of applause. Renewed is, of course, about our present and our future, but uh, I also would like to just think about our past. Uh, the Roncesvalles area is a neighborhood that has seen waves of immigrants. Uh, my own family settled here. My great-grandmother uh, lived up the street right on Roncesvalles when my family first came to Canada, and it is a neighborhood of newcomers, so I'd like to salute what they have built and left us, and I would especially like to salute the Polish community, where I was the son of the Polish Credit Union, and uh, the Polish community has really left their mark on our neighborhood in, uh, in a very positive way, and I'd like to just give a salute to all the newcomers, especially to the Polish community in our neighborhood. But we now have this uh, amazing street that didn't happen by accident. It happened because people rolled up their sleeves and went to work and made it happen. Uh, uh, Sherry and Gord and, um, and John have described that. Um, this is a neighborhood of volunteers. It's a community where people do make things happen, whether it's Sororan Park or building the Wabash Field House, whatever it is, it's a community that gets involved. Uh, people like Mary Weems who stepped up and said, you know what, uh, we should get the community involved in this and really made uh, an enormous difference and will continue to make an enormous difference. So thank you to the Roncesvalles community. Uh, I want to echo Sherry, if you live here, shop here. If you don't live here, tell your friends and come and shop here because we need to support our local businesses. Thank you very much for being here today. Now that she's been able to hydrate herself, we're, uh, we're going to have the laboratory here. We're getting a little, we'll make a little shrine on the street somewhere and put that away. Lots of designers on our committee, luckily. You know, for me, all of this was about forming relationships. I don't ever want to be part of a community group that wants to have a fight. And as soon as that starts to happen, I thought, I'm going to abandon this group. And you know, this has been a group about so many relationships being formed between the BIA, between the residents, at City Hall, with our local councillors. It's been, it, it, it's been extraordinary, the, 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 quality, the quality of the relationship. It has not become one of those bitter community brawls. And, uh, and, 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 that, and I think today we managed to really cement it with the TTC. The TTC occupies the streetcar yards right at the foot of our street. Murray Hill at, at TTC was, you know, added so many little bells and whistles to our proposal to run three streetcars. Then Jim Lever offers to do our first tour. So I think in a way we we formed a special relationship, I hope, with the with the TTC as well. I mean, they are literally our neighbors. It's a unique um, kind of street in so many ways. And uh, I think the other thing that I really want to have come out of all of this is that this doesn't just happen here. You know, from the beginning, I think that was our other goal, was that what happened here, Gord's nodding, could be duplicated across the city. Not quite to the same standard. <laughs> Councillors, you suffered. Why shouldn't the other councillors? <laughs> for adding so much, so much community. Um, my friend Kirsten was saying that she just bumped into a guy who, who was visiting Roncesvalles from from the beaches for the first time in, in probably months, and he said, "Do you live here?" And she said, "Yes." And he said, "It's beautiful." He couldn't believe how striking Roncesvalles was. Um, I have a little ceremonial thing, Maria. This is Maria. Yes, you. Come on up. Yeah, this will tell you a little bit about what community work is about. Maria, Maria 
and contacted us. You know, you always need all the all the free help you can get on community work. Maria said, um, how about if I pick up cigarette butts? Maria, I bought you a pair of rubber gloves. <laughs> And thank you, Mary. And you've got to you see go. uh, Mary's idea for the Ponte Vecchio at the bottom of this. <laughs> uh, folks, what uh, I'd like to do now, uh, with your uh, with your permission, is I'd like to cut the cake. For so, those of you who are, are within hearing distance but not in seeing distance, Rockenfield is renewed July 23rd, 2011. It's got uh, just an amazing shot of uh, uh, of uh, you know what? Come and take a look. You've got to see this. It's the crisscross of streetcar traffic in 2011. You know what? I'm the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. 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 Yes, John? Okay, get, uh, please do get, to the, get a shot of this. I'm going to put the microphone down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.